Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's GTA Online Weekly Update news and content by making Vector11 explain you the news of GTA Online of the past week, including this week's new rewards, discounts, and weekly update content for GTA Online. For those who have been staying tuned, I sincerely thank you. For those who are just new to the channel, I do wish to leave you the like and subscribe, etc, etc. I try to inform you of the most I possibly could of this game from the past week's news and this week's new content so those who are interested to know about the stuff going on let's get right into it and yes again for those who do wish to stay informed of this new stuff every week on thursday maybe even friday depending do leave a like subscribe stay tuned and i hope you guys are informed and stay informed and enjoy the content anyways let's get into the weekly news so let's start off with most information that we already know. Here are the weekly event update bonuses, including double rewards on Turf Wars, 50% rewards on air freight cell missions, and first and last dose missions, including a new hard mode that has been out for at least the past week, maybe two, that is ending pretty soon. So for those who are still interested in these rewards, I will explain to you in detail very shortly. We have these specific discounts on hangars, upgrades, modifications, vehicles, and a plane. Moving on, we also have new vehicle showcases that I will show you what they are during this video. We have new daily objectives, at least one of three per every day for the next week. We also have a premium race and time trials that have changed for this week, including a premium race at congestion charge and other time trials I will mention towards the end of this video. Rockstar states, sky high profits for Los Santos smugglers on air freight cargo, plus the last dose hard mode event continues, get double money and RP on turf wars and, well, generally more, but still that's kind of it. Anyways. Here's a little secret update for those who are interested. Rockstar, just a few minutes ago, pushed out a new tunable update to address the PC crashes. Where it should have been normal, at least he says, by now, or at least by May 4th. But just some time ago, he has also made another tweet where he has stated that today... Rockstar pushed out, or yesterday rather, pushed out an anti-cheat update for GTA Online PC alongside the event week. Secretly, which Rockstar likes to do. They like to make secret updates behind updates, which is why you don't get an update. You just see new stuff, and that's how the game gets wrecked internally. But Rockstar doesn't care as long as people are happy. Or rather, they are happy. Anyways, today's anti-cheat updates are resulting in legitimate players frequently crashing. I was trying to work on this video yesterday for at least the majority that I had time to work on a video and every five seconds there was always a lag spike which was very unusual considering some time ago I've upgraded my PC's graphics cards which is why content might be looking a little more pleasing and not so bitty every so often but it was fine and then finally the game starts dying even though everything else was doing good that's how it's playing other games and everything else was great but for me for, for some reason this game was just starting like yesterday it's starting to stutter and jitter and i was like what the heck and i was looking in the processes so i was looking at my task manager and everything was smooth i don't know so for those who are facing any issues for gta online just know rockstar pushed out an anti-cheat update in the background that no one really should have known about because rockstar doesn't like to inform us about that except Tez 2 which thank for him for his existence now we know why gta line is going to hell because of background updates the rockstar doesn't feel like updating into the game they just decide to shove it somewhere in between the rug and hope it works <clears throat> anyways moving on the reason why i put this on the left side rockstar has stated is your hangar packed with valuables offload them in gta online air freight cargo cell missions for only 50 percent extra rewards which people are finding very unusual considering that rockstar is starting to drop these percent bonuses weekly which someone has even reached has not really say tweeted, but let's say has responded with a meme where at Rockstar Games we're going to balance out the online economy with new quality of life improvements, but also Rockstar repeatedly cuts business bonuses in half week after week. 
it's almost like Rockstar's trying to state that GTA Online has inflation. Which shouldn't be the case, considering it's a game. There shouldn't be any form of economics behind government influences in a game. Unless you want to base it off of government, which... <clears throat> Now that I think of it, there are government-related missions. Oh my gosh, so that's why Rockstar decided to make your characters in story mode work for the government. Because they want to make this as a hidden... Oh yeah, but hey, you're a character that has to work for government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, I'm like, I go too much into detail on that. Let's just say, Rockstar, that's kind of BS that you're trying to do things like this. Why do, why do you even release a 50% rewards? Why do you even release any business rewards in the first place if you know you're going to drop these percentage bonuses every so often just because you want to balance it out. <clears throat> yeah, that's kind of balancing out a little too much. It's kind of sus. It's kind of like you want people to buy more shark cards, which is highly sus. Anyways, moving on. He has stated this week's discounts, including the hangars, new vehicles, a plane. That is it. We also have new showcase vehicles. That I will get into detail later on in this video. We also have these rewards, including a chart on, I believe he has made a chart for the new bonus money, or including the new bonus, rather, for this week. So I'm going to show you that chart in just a moment. But I just want you to note that Rockstar removed the without dying part of checking in, in reward due to causing confusion. Apparently, maybe even myself who has seen it without dying, which I kind of found it like really like discouraging, but still. Rockstar earlier stated that you have to complete these select first and last those missions without dying to get a special reward, which I'll get into detail soon. But Rockstar removed the without dying part because apparently a lot of people were confused about, oh, but if I die once, can I still get the reward? So I guess Rockstar is like, you know what? We're going to remove it because you guys don't understand what without dying means. So we're going to remove that just to make it a fairly little easier for you guys. So there's that. Anyways, that's just in Rockstar's words. Trust me, I, I don't judge anyone. I'm not, a, I'm not a person who wants millions of dollars for microtransactions just because I want to, I don't know, support bananas. Anyways, here's the chart. On how much money you could be making, depending on your bonuses, depending on how much you decide to, I don't know, collect, store, and want to ship and sell. So right now, at least for this event week, narcotics, camels, and medical supplies are worth the most in terms of high demand. Or at least rather it is, but just going to give you a lot more, almost $6 million this week, at least I assume. That's how much you're going to be making this week. Anyways, moving on. The Biker's Mission theme cover is out now for GTA Online on Spotify for those who are interested. Now, the Rockstar Newswire. Air Freight Cargo. Rockstar states, Sky High profits for Los Santos smugglers on Air Freight Cargo. Get double rewards on Turf Wars. The last and f uh, the first and last dose hard mode event continues. Or actually, the last dose hard mode event. But anyways... I don't know why everyone's mentioning the first and last, but still. Anyways, and on top of that, we have a bonus of 50% more money in RP for air freight cell missions. Anyways, moving on, the hard mode event. The last dose hard mode event plus 50% bonus money in RP on all Los Santos Drug Wars missions. Oh, uh, that's why. Anyways, I guess the first and last dose is 50% extra bonus money, but the last dose is where you can get the special rewards, at least. How I'm reading it now. Anyways, the hard mode event. Here is some clothing unlocks you can get for select rewards. I'll get into shortly. But here is the black VDG cardigan and black VDG white designer jeans. We also have pink and lime SC coin wrapped glasses. We also have the classic DS Tiger board designer jeans. And finally, the micro SMG camel finish. To unlock those rewards, you have to complete these select objectives to get whatever you want. Anyways, moving on. The premium test drive for new gen console players is the Pegasi Weaponized Ignis, which is over here. And finally, this week's House Special Works Time Trial. Test the limits of your ride and your reflexes floor between Sandy Shores and La Porta in this week's House Special Works Time Trial. And that is it for this week's news. So it wasn't that much. 
So anyways, for those who have been staying tuned to this very moment to stay informed of this new stuff, I hope you guys did feel, I hope you guys did get informed. But anyways, now we're going to get into the official weekly update of GT Online. So let's get into that right now. If you guys did enjoy this video so far, since I wish for you to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Anyways, now for the weekly event update of GT Online. There is no new vehicle of the game, which from last week was only temporary released. This was the Winnie Easy Rally that was only available until May 3rd. So for those who were interested in buying this vehicle but couldn't, you're going to have to probably wait until... The next DLC release is probably in mid-July, so unfortunately, yeah, you, uh, are, you're missing out. Anyways, even I'm missing out, but whatever, I don't care, it's just another vehicle that I don't have garage space for. Anyways, moving on, the podium vehicle for this week is probably one of the oldest vehicles of GT in general. This in Torno, even this vehicle I was able to find on the street in story mode. That's how ancient it is. But it is a pretty cool car. It has insane handling. Back in the day, it used to be known as the fastest vehicle of GT Online before the newer official DLC started releasing. But this vehicle has outstanding performances. The only way to spin out though is if you hit a pothole at max speed while turning or if you decide to hit the handbrake for longer than a second. But besides that, this car has outstanding handling performances it is pretty fast too so for those who are interested i strongly suggest trying to get this vehicle as soon as possible prize ride for this week is the ocelot jugular which you have to place top one for four days in a row in a pursuit series this week test track vehicles includes the lampadati fewer gt we also have the bravado greenwood okay and finally the dubaki rapid gt classic Ooh. Anyways, moving on to this week's rewards. As we know, and I will officially make it to you for this week, double rewards on Turf Wars Adversary Mode. We also have these GTA Plus rewards for those who are new gen console and are interested in knowing what is this week's GTA Plus reward still. We also have, as I've mentioned before and I'll mention yet again, 50% more GTA and RP on air freight cargo cell missions this week. Which is kind of embarrassing considering it's not double rewards or triple rewards as Rockstar used to make back in the good old days of making money. Yeah, Rockstar, what is going on? Anyways, the last dose hard mode event and extra 50% money in RP on all Los Santos Drug Wars missions through May 10th will result in 50% extra money in RP. So I think it actually ends this week. So for those who are still interested, Good luck. Anyways, moving on. I still have community series rewards. I don't know if Rockstar just doesn't care until they have to care, but it seems to make a pattern now that Rockstar just keeps forgetting about updating the community series jobs because I still have double rewards on these three select stunt races, DRT, Big Fish Canal, Steel Roller Coaster, and the Red Room. And I still have on the community series these three death matches on double rewards: the vehicle death match, black and yellow, and death match maze. And I still have double rewards on GTA football in capture. I don't know if Rockstar just keeps forgetting about it or just doesn't care about it at all until they have to. But for those who still have the rewards, that's good. If not, I don't know. No one's telling me anything about these rewards existing or not. But for me, they still exist. Anyways, Turf Wars 1 through 7 in Adversary Mode are double rewards this week. And that's generally it for the rewards for this week that, is, that I've mentioned. Anyways, Simeon Vehicles includes the Rapid Retinue, the Declass Impaler, ooh, the Vapid Flash GT, the Dinka Jester, and finally the Ubermott Sentinel XS. Wow. Luxury Autos includes the Grotti Vision and the Ubermott SC1. I don't know why I like to call it StarCraft 1. Maybe it's just a future vehicle that Rockstar tried making. That wants to remind them of StarCraft. I don't know. 
Anyways, discounts for this week. We have discounts in addition to 30% discounts on hangers and their upgrades and modifications. You can get 30% off all of these four vehicles, including the Western Company Rogue, 30% off, the Bravado Greenwood, 30% off, the Ubermont SC1, 30% off, and the Vapid Flash GT, 30% off. We also have discounts on select gun van inventory, where you can look at the gun van to shop for a rotating selection of weapons, 10% off, including a 25% discount on the Heavy Sniper, Throwables, 50% off, and Armor, 20% off, and GTA Plus membership gives access to 50% off the Up and Atomizer and significantly increases the the other discounts as mentioned before and we'll mention probably after in this same box you have the baseball bat the knife the up and atomizer which again is 50 percent off for gta plus members the heavy sniper is 25 percent off for all players unless you're gta plus then it's probably gonna be like i don't know 45 50 percent not sure i'm not a new gen player myself so for those who wish to mention Go ahead. Musket, Advanced Rifle, Molotov, Sticky Bombs, and Pipe Bombs are also available in the gun van this week. And for those who are looking to take your Empire Airborne for the first time, hangers and their upgrades modifications, as mentioned, and I will clearly mention it again, are 30% off this week. As mentioned, here you go. Here's a hanger that I have chosen from Fort Sankuda, which I recommend specifically for having a safer travel and possibly a decent shortcut throughout most of the map quote unquote where you can buy one for like 1.8 million which is the one all the way up north that I don't have and for those who wish to upgrade it you can probably spend around 3.4 million dollars on that select hanger that I have just chosen moments ago so for those who are interested in buying a hanger this week I would suggest buying one actually especially in Fort Sankudo so it can save you some time in driving, maybe, and it can even save you a headache from a select tuner contract for GTA Online, for those who own an auto shop. Anyways, vehicle discounts. The Vapid Flash GT is now 1.1 million. The Ubermont StarCraft 1 is 1.1 million. The Rogue, the only plane that's on discount this week, which is quite shameful, honestly is $840,000, and finally, the Bravado Greenwood is 1 million, just a little over 1 million, for those who have the trade price, $769,000. Anyways, time trials for this week, finally, towards the end of this part. Last but not least, time trial in Observatory, located just near the Observatory, up in Vinewood Hills. We also have a RC time trial in La Fuente Blanca, and for new gen console players, how special works in Sandy Shores, or how special works time trial in Sandy Shores. And that is all that we have for this video for you guys. I hope you guys did feel or get informed of anything you may want or need to know for this weekly update content news and content itself. And I hope you guys do stay tuned and enjoyed for more. If you guys did though, you can leave a like, subscribe, stay tuned, you know, for those who are interested in wanting to know more about GTA Land every Thursday, maybe Friday even. But anyways, that is all that I have for you guys. So I hope you guys do enjoy these discounts, maybe the uh, Turf Wars adversary modes, because I personally, I cannot enjoy the hangar missions. They're, they just, I always get the one that griefs me. So I'm just done doing those missions. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And, um, see you all in the next one. Good luck.